when you cut off the narcissist. When you were with the narcissist, they were dependent on you as their source of supply. They were dependent on you to regulate their emotions, to regulate their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. During the love bombing phase, they did everything they could to impress you. They did everything they could to evoke your attention and admiration to make you interested in them. They might have complimented you. They might have been very affectionate. They might have given you gifts. This could have been easily mistaken as them being very interested in you. But actually, they were using you for their own emotional regulation. As the narcissist began to spend more time with you, they began to get bored. They began to get dissatisfied. The narcissist could not be satisfied with anyone or anything for long periods of time. The high begins to wear off and the supply is no longer as potent. It no longer has a powerful impression on them. And this has nothing to do with you. There isn't much that you can do to prolong the love bombing phase. Narcissists are very miserable, ungrateful people. They can only maintain their facade for a short period of time. And it is your attention and admiration that is propping up their false self. Your positive attention is feeding them and keeping the illusion going. Once the high begins to wear off and the supply is no longer as potent, this is when the narcissist begins to devalue you. This is when they begin to use you as a negative source of supply. It's no longer satisfying for them to impress you or be admired by you. And by this point, you have probably figured them out already. You have probably realized that this person isn't who they said they were. You have probably seen through their deceptive outward appearance. Which means that you are no longer validating their false self. So the narcissist has no fuel to keep the illusion going. The energy that they had to give you this false self and maintain the illusion came from you. If you are no longer supporting their facade, it all falls apart. And this is when they begin to devalue you. This is when they begin to act as though something is wrong with you. It's designed to make you look at yourself and make you feel as though something is wrong with you or you've done something wrong when really, you're just no longer falling for their lies. You're no longer susceptible to their manipulation. You're no longer validating their false self. Even though they are devaluing you, it still gives them supply. Putting you down still regulates their emotions. It makes them feel as though the false self exists. It makes them feel as though they are worth something. It makes them feel as though they are superior to you. Like a leech, they will become dependent on you. They will habitually exploit and rely on you to regulate their emotions, to regulate their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance.
when you cut off the narcissist, they can no longer use you as their source of supply. They no longer have anyone to regulate their emotions. Which means their exaggerated false sense of worth goes with it too. They can no longer maintain their false self or maintain the illusion without anyone to validate that it exists. This is why narcissists cannot be alone for long periods of time. They become depressed, even suicidal, and they are fully aware of this. Which is why they will be grooming someone else while they are devaluing you. They will be love bombing the new source and preparing or training them to become their primary source while they are tearing you down. Once the new source is fully prepared or trained for this purpose, the narcissist will advance them to the primary position. This is when they will discard you. But if you cut them off before they are able to do this, before they are able to secure your replacement, before they are able to secure a secondary source of supply, they will be left alone. They will have no one to regulate their emotions. They will have no one to regulate their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. They will begin to reflect on their true feelings of worthlessness and insignificance. They will either become depressed or suicidal, or they might try to track you down. They might come after you, and they could even become violent. They cannot deal with rejection. It causes a narcissistic injury because you are invalidating their false self. It makes them feel small and insignificant, but because the false self isn't real, and yet they have this desperate need to display their false self, they cannot process these emotions. So they project them onto you. Their feelings become facts, and they blame you for how they feel. They believe that you have done something to them, to make them feel that way. So now they have to punish you. Now they have to make you pay for everything that you saw wrong with them. And in many cases, this is what happens. They will come after you. They will try to hurt you. They will assassinate your character and start smear campaigns. Because in their minds, you try to destroy their false self. You try to destroy their world. So now, they're going to destroy yours. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.